there I was, sitting on the couch, an overweight and morbidly obese 23-year-old dad, completely depressed, miserable, and hating myself for what I had done. I couldn't even look in the mirror. I was so disgusted. I remember escaping my house to the gas station several nights a week to go isolate myself and hide from the pains of having to deal with my emotions and feelings. I would come back home each time completely sedated, numb, and checked out. One night, I pulled back in my house, and my wife saw me. I immediately scarfed down the last bit of ice cream I had left out of the full gallon, but it was too late. She opened the door and took the ice cream and threw it on the ground and told me, Patrick, this is enough. You need to stop this mess. I didn't listen to her. I was full of excuses. I would justify everything to make it okay to eat more and procrastinate more. It is okay to eat this today because tomorrow I am going to start my diet. Does this sound familiar? Well, that was me. And what about it's okay to skip my workout today because I'm going to go first thing in the morning. And of course, it never happened. My wife even took around 10 before and after pictures of me and I kept saying, today I'm going to start my program, which obviously never happened and I procrastinated over and over again. On March 9th, 2009, I made an outrageously bold declaration. Today is the day. This was the day my son was born and I knew this would be the day I would start losing weight and start my diet. Take a look for yourself. All right, so my wife just had a baby a day ago. I'm in the hospital still. I gained 55 pounds in this pregnancy. I am now 250 pounds. So all this weight is going to be gone. 250 pounds. I'm a pregnant man, and my wife had the baby. 30, no, 45 inch, 47 inch waist by now. Waist. March 9th, 2009. Today's date. See you next time. My weight will be gone. Hi, I'm Patrick Jones, and yeah, that <laughs> that guy right there, that was me at uh, my highest peak, as you know, at 280 pounds. And you know what? When I was in that hospital, when I shot that video, I ended up gaining more weight after that. I ended up gaining 40 more pounds. Yes, 40 more pounds because I actually wasn't ready to, to change. I wasn't committed. I said I was, but I was really just lying to myself. And I, you know, over the next few months, I kept eating more and gaining more weight until it really got to my lowest. And it took really me uh, just getting to that point where I had to do it for myself and nobody else. And I'm excited because, you know, all my experiences that I've ever had and all my clients I've ever worked with, this is what this three part video series is all about. And I'm super pumped that you're here with me going through this next three videos and I'm really going to give you everything I possibly can to teach you every strategy I know that will give you the biggest most dramatic impact on losing weight and keeping it off but specifically just 20 pounds in the next six weeks because if you can get 20 pounds off in the next six weeks when I when I clients get that weight off I, I see dramatic changes 10 pounds yeah that's cool you know that's great but when I see 20 they are different people. They are completely transformed. So I want you to know that I'm here with you and I'm gonna make sure that I give you everything possible in these three videos to make sure that you get the results, you get the specific things you need, no fluff, I'm going right to it and we're gonna jive right in. So throughout different things, you're gonna hear about this 20 pound six week body fat challenge that is launching very soon that you can be also a part of. And I just want you to see some of these clients and some of these uh, people that I've worked with that have been through that challenge and in six weeks have transformed completely. I did the six week body fat challenge and in the first six weeks I lost 21 pounds and in the following two weeks since then um, I've lost another six. So I think it's the best program. But whether you decide to do the challenge or not, I'm gonna make sure that by the end of these three videos you have everything you need to be able to do it on your own. 
And I'm excited to tell you that you can too look and feel however you want to. With the right program in place, there should and will be nothing that will ever stop you. There are three things that could be the missing piece you've been needing to finally start losing weight and keeping it off forever, which will also be covered in this three-part video series. Number one, you're going to see exactly how I lost 100 pounds in six months and have helped over hundreds of others drop 20 pounds in their first six weeks and more, including the exact seven-step fat loss formula that I use to do it. Number two, you learn the big myths that you are believing to be true, which is keeping you stuck and blocking your weight loss and the things you can do to overcome them all. And you'll learn the fat loss habits that will help you lose two to four pounds per week and the exact strategies behind it all so that you can immediately lose 20 pounds in the next six weeks without ever going to the gym or going on a diet ever again. Now, how can I make such a bold claim? 20 pounds in six weeks? Because it actually happens every day with my clients, without having to go on a diet, without having to do any cardio, and even without having to go to the gym. See for yourself. Well, here's the quick video you asked me for, and I mean, I have to be really honest with you here. I didn't tell you this, but yes, you totally changed my life. I mean, you made me feel beautiful on my wedding day, and you really are so, so special to me. Thank you. I mean, I can only say thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, you told me I could lose 20 pounds in six weeks, and I did it. I did it. I lost 20 pounds. I am going to teach you the exact fat loss formula that Diana and all my other clients have followed. Plus, you're going to see how I went from an overweight dad to losing 100 pounds, losing about 5 pounds of weight per week consistently with nothing but the 7-step formula all in under 6 months. And how thousands of others just like you and me have achieved the same results with their weight loss, creating a better lifestyle for themselves and their families. But First, let me show you quickly how I got here. I've been married for almost eight years. Yeah, this is my family. <laughs> That's me, my son Lucas on the left, Priscilla, my wife on the right, and there is Jacob on the lower left. And in those two strollers are my little ones. Uh, they're twins, and they are small. <laughs> and that's my entire family. So I got a big family. And I've had a lot of success, you know, during my life. You know, um, I had my own radio show, FTNS. I've been on News 12 several times. And I was on MTV, um, show uh, Dr. Oz and ABC um, and CW. And I've done, done a lot of really cool stuff, been in a lot of magazines. And I've, I've appeared in many different places and done di different types of speaking engagements. And, you know, with all that, you know, everything's been great, right? Well, it wasn't always that way. Let me tell you a little bit more. I grew up obese until the age of 17 years old. And yeah, that's, that's me in the left with that hair, that crazy hair, and uh, that other look on there on the right side as well. <laughs> and I was picked on in high school, and they called me Fat Pat. Yeah, not cool, right? After school, I would go home to my parents and sneak food under my bed every single night. I ate bowls of cereal after everyone went to sleep and ate food just because I was bored. I became obese and overweight and had a hard time talking to people in school. And I moved to a new school and discovered the sport of wrestling. And I decided to give it a shot. And guess what happened? Yep, I lost 75 pounds that year. But I did it all the wrong way. See, I worked out twice a day, I took pills to speed my metabolism, and dehydrated myself to lose weight. Yes, I know, pretty bad, <laughs> pretty bad way to do it, but at the time, it was really all that I knew. I had become a skinny 152, 18-year-old that was just hungry all the time with low energy. Deep down inside, I knew that there had to be a better way to do things. So I went to college, and I studied public health, and became a personal trainer. It was the best thing that I had ever done. I started to realize that something was missing in my clients' programs. I mean, they were getting results along the way, but not truly losing the fat that they'd wanted. I figured out what it was, their nutrition. So in 2005, I went to California to get my nutrition license. I learned cutting-edge nutrition strategies that I knew would make a huge impact on my client's success. 
And I started to apply not only the exercise component now, but also the nutrition component. And the results were amazing. Clients started losing three pounds a week, four pounds per week, five to six pounds per week, triple the fat loss in half the time as it had taken before. And I saw faster fat loss, belly fat loss, fa faster body fat reduction. It was truly amazing. And many trainers and coaches started coming to me asking how my clients were transforming so quickly. And I then realized I had made a new discovery. I started to apply these same principles, the exact same fat loss principles, into every different type of client possible over and over again. Guess what happened? They all got the same amazing fat loss results consistently without fail. And I decided to put this new formula into an easy to follow step-by-step -step process that anyone could follow. I called it the seven step reshaping formula. By the way, in the next video, I will break down the entire formula for you step-by-step -step and tell you exactly what you need to do. Now using the formula, I consistently saw amazing results just by using these seven powerful steps. Here's one of my first clients using the formula, Erica. She had phenomenal results. I even took that photo before and after. And, you know, in, in just a few months, she had dropped uh, well over 2% body fats and well over 20 pounds. And amazing results. She has phenomenal results. And you can see it clearly by that photo. Okay, back to my story. Life was really great. Everything was going pretty well for me at the time. I had moved to New York City and I got in the best shape of my life. I met the love of my life and got married as you know. Then something happened to me that year, something big. I completely let myself go. I gained weight within one year of getting married. I mean, a lot of weight, over 80 pounds of fat. This wasn't the new husband kind of weight. This was, I was binge eating and hiding food like I did as a kid kind of weight. Remember that video earlier you saw? Well, that became me pretty quickly. I literally went from ripped to obese in a matter of months. And yeah, nothing was working for me. I kept failing over and over again. I couldn't even remember the first year of my newborn son's life because I was so self-absorbed. Yeah, it got pretty bad. I started to journal a little bit every day and some of the fog ended up going away. Then it hit me really hard. What if, just what if, I use the exact formula to lose weight that I use every day with my own clients? The seven step reshaping formula. I kept thinking about it over and over again. Finally, I made the decision to change. And as you know, I ended up losing 100 pounds in six months. Yeah, it wasn't that easy though. Before I could even start following the seven step reshaping formula, I knew I needed to do a brain dump. I had to identify all the myths and beliefs I was thinking that were keeping me stuck. If I could create a new belief system and stop my current thinking pattern, I would be able to follow a plan much, much better and not derail with excuses anymore. So let's do that right now together. These are the weight loss myths, the biggest ones that we have to get rid of and say sayonara. And really the reason is because a lot of these things we're believing to be true. And when we believe in our belief system to be true, we act upon them, we do them. And then we wonder why we're still overweight. We wonder why you know, our body is not losing any weight, right? And it just brings me to a, a thought of, of a client of mine who I remember, you know, one of my first clients many years ago. Uh, and he, when he came to me, you know, he was from China. He was from a different culture. And when, he, when I saw him for the first time, he had all these beliefs, not habits specifically, but more beliefs about food. That when he came to the U.S., you know, his beliefs about specific foods were, were shocking. So I remember one of the things that he told me was that he had orange juice. And this orange juice was something he drank every morning for breakfast. And his belief was that orange juice was healthy, right? So because he believed that it was healthy and because it was packaged as healthy, that's all he drank for breakfast. And he drank a, probably about a, a 30, uh, 30 ounce uh, drink, which really is a, at least 50 to 60, 70 grams of sugar 
yes, it's that much sugar. And you know, once you stop doing that, immediately you start losing weight, and that's why you see that happen. So let's jump in, let's dive in pretty quick here. Um, let's talk about these myths here, and these are huge. So let's start with number one, which is eating less to weigh less. Now, I get it, you know, sometimes the summer comes, you got an event coming up, and you're motivated, and the first thing you might go to is a diet. And you know, when you go to a diet, a diet usually pretty much restricts food. And you've probably heard the term, you know, uh, eat less and work out more, right? Which is another myth, right? This has to do with the same thing. Very false, completely false. When you eat less, and you will weigh less. But you're just going to be a smaller, fat version of yourself. Yes, I'm going to say that again. You're going to be, you're going to shrink down, but you're not going to lose any fat. You're going to lose weight coming from muscle tissue, lean tissue, lean muscle tissue, and coming from water. So you're going to be a, a, a fat, skinnier version of yourself. If that makes sense now, kind of imagine that. Your belly is still there. You're just thin and you're skinny. And you also uh, have something called um, uh, become a, what's called a fat, skinny person, if you ever heard that term before as well. And that's, again, where you look good in clothes, but uh, because you have no lean muscle because it's been all burnt up and, and it's been used as energy, and you, know, you don't look good, right? And that's what we don't want to have happen. If you've done crunches or some type of core exercise, any core exercise, it doesn't matter what it is, and thought, man, I'm gonna, I wanna get lean in my stomach. I wanna get um, a flatter stomach, or I want, I don't want this, this, um, this fat here. I want it to go away. So, have you ever tried doing crunches or any kind of ab exercise? Have you? Because <laughs> if you have, it's just not going to work. And the reason why is you can't spot reduce. Unfortunately, you can't. And what that means is that if you try to focus on isolating one little bit of an area, your body does not want to burn fat in that area. It's not going to. You can't just target and say, I want to burn fat there. It's not possible. It's never been possible. What works is doing uh, bigger muscle groups, working bigger muscle groups, and doing more what's called compound movements. And when you do muscle groups that involve multi-joint movement patterns, like a squat press, you know, with weight, you know, squatting and pressing, yeah, you're not necessarily doing crunches, but guess what? You are working this guy. You're working the core, and you're also burning a heck of a lot more calories so that you can burn fat later in the day. That type of training is called metabolic resistance training. And that's really what I recommend uh, if you want to if you want to work on the core. More cardio does not burn fat. Cardio, in fact, burns no fat whatsoever because when you're doing cardio, you're actually burning what's called glycogen, which is carbohydrates. It's, it's pretty much the primary source of fuel your body wants to burn first. Um, it takes at least an hour to an hour and a half to pretty much burn off that excess of glycogen. So that means you're going to have to do like 30 hours a week of cardio, which I know I don't have the time for. I'm a father of five and I have a lot of kids. I don't have time for that. Um, so doing cardio, doing more cardio is the worst way to, to burn fat. And you know, one of my clients, Maria, I remember um, when she went on my challenge, my 20, 20 pound six week challenge, she uh, came to me doing about 15 hours a week of cardio. And I literally told her, stop doing cardio 100%. Do not do any more cardio. And she stopped it. She was very hesitant to do it, but she did. And she started doing more of uh, metabolic resistance training. Um, and it was only three hours a week, max, absolute max. And guess what happened? She reduced all the inflammation that was occurring in her body. She reduces all stress levels that were occurring in the body. And she lost 15, I think it was 15 or 16 pounds in just 10 days. So who wouldn't be? But I took the leap and I did the entire thing and I ended up losing 23 pounds before my wedding. Oh yeah. So it works. I definitely recommend it and Patrick's coaching during it was a big help. Thanks Patrick. The next one is fasting and starving, which really is detoxing. Now one of the biggest things right now that you hear about is the next detox, the 21 day detox, the 3 day detox, the 7 day detox. And I have never honestly seen anyone with success with it of keeping that weight off that I've ever worked with. And I, again, I've worked with tons and dozens and thousands of people and I've never seen anyone successful. Why? Because they don't usually have a plan what to do after that. So maybe they lose three pounds and fine, they've, they've detoxed their body, but then they don't have a plan what they're doing next. And so what happens is they see success and they uh, go off of that plan and then they eat regularly again and then all of a sudden um, they want to go back to that again 
but they try it and they don't lose any weight the second time or they don't lose any weight the third, third time and then they say why am i losing any weight anymore i mean they go crazy and it's because these these fasting techniques are just short-term fixes that just don't work and i tell you what if, if you're focusing on those at all and you've had you know you've tried them before and you know you haven't had success it's because that's just one uh, you know, myth uh, or thing that you do temporary that, that you might believe is going to be a permanent long-term solution. The last myth we're going to talk about is packed packages, packed products. So we're talking, you know, if you go to the store and you see a product that says low sugar on it, it says low cholesterol, low fat. Uh, Weight Watchers packages, Jenny Craig packages, a lot of those things have high sodium in it. They actually all do. I'm sorry, they all do. And the problem is this. When you have something that's packaged, what happens is they, they have to put toxins and chemicals inside of it. In fact, I went to the store the other day and I was looking at, uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was a healthy cereal that it said healthy on it. It said hearty health. I don't remember exactly what it was. but. I looked at the ingredients and there was over 40 ingredients inside of it. So what I want you to understand is that anything that's packaged is processed. Anything processed is going to store fat, period. That's all you need to know. So stop eating things that are going to be packaged. They're not going to help you. And these are things that you may already know. And all these things are things that you may already know. And sometimes it takes hearing it again, like I'm telling you right now. And that's okay. As you can see, it is so easy to focus on the wrong things and not even know that you are. We as a culture believe so many things out there, we don't even know if they're true or not. So take a look at this. Which of all three here, which of these has the most sugar? Take a guess. Is it the healthy probiotic orange juice on the left? Is it the Coke? Is it the, is it the orange juice on the right? Which of these has the most calories in it? The answer is None of them. They're all equal. They all have the same amount of calories in them. So all of them have about 12 ounces. All of them have about 30 grams of sugar. So if you're having that healthier orange juice on the left, you're still having 30 grams of sugar. And the orange juice on the right, you're still having 30 grams of sugar. So technically, you might as well just have a Coca-Cola because you're getting the equal amount of sugar that you are in a healthy orange juice, even labeled healthy. My point is, is that you didn't even maybe know you are having that much sugar. And you didn't even know that you're having a Coke. If I would have just gave you a Coke instead, you would have been like, no, it has too much sugar inside of it. Because that happens to people all the time, they tell me. So... It is no wonder why so many people have failed to lose weight and keep it off. We are all so confused. The truth is, self-directed fat loss has an 88% failure rate. Yep, 88%. So you're probably asking yourself, how the heck do I become one of the 12%? Well, here's the thing. You have to fall in one of these categories. Number one... Be an athlete who consistently is active in sports. Number two, you have to work in the health field and be around healthy things every day. And number three, you have a type A personality and pretty much obsess about working out 24 hours a day. Now, I know, I know, there is a good chance you don't want to be any of those three. So there's a small category not on there that is the 1% of those people that live healthy lifestyle every single day. They never have to worry about their weight. They never have to go on a diet. And frankly, that 1% of the people just naturally eat healthy and live in true peace. They have tons of energy all day long from the time they wake up to the time they go to bed. And I imagine that is exactly what you may want. To live happy and healthy and in peace and never have to worry about your weight and with no stress... And what if there was a way to achieve all these things and drop 20 pounds of weight in the next six weeks safely, effectively, and all done the right way? It is absolutely possible, and I'm going to share it all with you. It is important to focus on the things that will help speed your metabolism, as we talked about earlier today in the fat loss rules, not slow it down. So if you want to burn fat, if you want to mobilize fatty tissue... You have to have a high metabolism. So the bad news is, if you're having a hard time losing weight, it is because you have a slow metabolism. If you've ever went up and down in weight, and now you have trouble losing it, again, you have a slow metabolism. Don't worry. 
We are definitely going to change that now. Here are three easy ways to boost your metabolism that you can implement right away. Now you know that you need to increase your metabolism. You know that everything's about your metabolism, and I don't care how old you are. You know, I, I've got uh, clients that have done my 20 pound six week challenge, uh, and you know what? They've been in their 80s, and they've got phenomenal results. And yeah, they lost 20 pounds. And they did it because, first of all, obviously their mindset, they were really ready to change and make that commitment. But more so is they just followed the metabolism stuff, that the things that helped them increase their metabolism. And, and some of the things I'm telling you right now is the same things that they did. You know, and, and, and uh, you know, over a 1,000 clients, as I told you, I've worked with. And so all these things here I'm going to tell you right now, like literally do them. I mean you got to take action on them. And so these things are going to be huge. So let's jump into them right now. Things that you can do to increase your metabolism. Let's talk about protein and fat. Uh, protein is huge. Protein is automatically going to increase your metabolism, period. It's highest in the thermogenic effect of food. You know, uh, it, it's an amazing thing to have. And the more frequently you have protein, the more you're going to burn fat. So the thing is, if you, if you combine a meal of protein and fat, you're going to burn more fat. I know it sounds crazy to say, it sounds crazy to think, well, if I eat more fat, I'm going to burn more fat. Is that, is that possible? Yeah, it is. So, um, and, and by the way, have you ever heard of the term, you are what you eat most of? So, yeah, if you eat more carbohydrates, you're only going to burn more carbs. So, having meals of protein and fat all day long are going to be the most important thing you can do right away. And that's definitely going to help increase your metabolism and your metabolic rate. The next thing you can do to increase your metabolism is actually when you wake up in the morning, what I want you to do is literally jump up and down as fast as you can. You can do jumping jacks, you can do high knees, you can run in place, um, whatever it is. You know, you can do burpees. If you, if you know what burpees are, you can do burpees. doesn't matter, but I want you to go as hard as you can go, and I don't want you to think about it. The moment you think about it, you're in your head, and you're not focusing on just going at high intensity. And when you feel a burning in your throat, you pretty much know that your metabolism is starting to stir up already. And that's really what you want. You want to focus on that 30 seconds. And literally what I would do, I would get a timer and time yourself from 30 seconds down because you're going to be thinking about when's the time going to be up? When's the time going to be up? So get that timer and make it happen. And it's going to, it's going to temporarily increase your metabolism. So it's not going to like increase it for the rest of the day, but what will happen is that it'll, it'll burn some additional, it'll allow you to burn additional calories up to like, let's say four hours later so that your body is in this fat burning mode and it's burning more carbohydrates and it's burning more fat. And that's really what you want. Number three here is cayenne pepper. Yes, cayenne pepper. You know, I, I've tested this with tons of my clients and I've really seen a difference uh, in terms of stirring up their metabolism kind of all day long. So what I would do is put cayenne pepper in some water and lemon and drink it all day long. I would do this right away. If you start this tomorrow, you'll start to feel, uh, and I've done it my, myself many times, you'll start to feel like a, uh, a stirring up, a, a burning sensation in your, in your body, right? And it's like, is that my metabolism? Is that, you know, is that my belly fat moving around? Like, it's almost like the belly fat um, cells are like breaking apart or something's going on inside. And that truly is what is starting to occur is you're breaking up some of those molecules inside your belly and in your body and you feel really good. It's like a natural detoxification. Now, I recommend putting lemon inside there too, not just having the, the cayenne pepper. It's going to make a big difference as lemon is really high in, 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 in uh, detoxification as well. So what I would personally do is just get a, uh, a big thing of water and, uh, you know, 32 ounces and just put a bunch of cayenne in there, put a bunch of water in there, uh, put your, a whole lemon and just squeeze it in there and drink it and carry that thing with you all day long. Try it out. It doesn't, doesn't hurt you. And this is such easy stuff that you can implement. This is an easy thing you can do. So that is it for video number one. I have tons more useful and helpful fat burning strategies for you that will help you start losing weight faster than you've ever imagined possible. And in the next video, I am going to break down the entire seven step reshaping formula step by step. We are going to dive pretty deep into the exact process I want you to follow. And you'll be able to literally copy, literally copy every single step I will show you to lose 20 pounds in the next six weeks pretty easy. Plus, I'm going to share with you the three healthy foods you should stop eating right away and the best foods you need to eat to burn 25% more fat calories. And because if you're not losing weight right now, 
is probably because you're eating some of these foods and you need to know what they are. And I'm also going to give you the seven step formula process map so you can start to apply everything right away. Listen, I've been asked to talk about this stuff for years. And to be honest, a lot of this stuff is really personal to me. Because as you can see, I'm going deep into the real foundation of how I was able to lose 100 pounds in six months and all the strategies my clients use. And everything is really not about going on a diet. You can see that by now. And, but instead, it's really about you know, speeding your metabolism and how to eat in the ways that are going to do that. And this stuff, really, nobody wants to teach you because then the diet companies would be out of business. This is about giving you the real information that you need to see results fast, the right way. That's what the seven-step formula is all about and what you'll discover more in depth in the next video. I've helped tons of clients just like you, busy at home moms, 70-year-old people that said, I have a slow metabolism, bodybuilders, busy dads who work 50 plus hours a week or just busy dads in general, soon to be brides, newbies working out they've never worked out before that this is all new to, the terrified <laughs> teachable person, they're not really terrified but they're teachable, <laughs> uh, the athlete, the retired mom or dad and more. I mean if you're wanting to lose weight, I probably helped you and I want to make sure that this info is only in the hands of motivated and exciting, excited motivating people just like you who are ready for it. It's why I'm weeding out those who are not ready, who just want to stay in the problem and keep complaining with everyone else. Why they are not getting results and afraid to do anything about it. Because the truth is, when everyone else starts doing the same diet over and over again, or for whatever reason is stuck and not losing any weight, that's the best time to do something radically different. And you, by being on here today, on this, watching this right now, it's being different. You are doing something different right now. So I congratulate you right now just for being on this, for taking action, and for watching this entire video. It really does mean a lot to me. And it is a huge step for you. It is a huge step in the right direction for you to take care of your health, take care of yourself, and move forward and get what you need. Now, I want to ask you a question. This is a pretty serious question, actually. You know, um, what is the single biggest frustration you're having right now when it comes to losing weight? What specific uh, frustration are you having right now? I want to know about it. And what I want you to do right now is comment below and let me know what that single biggest frustration is in terms of losing weight. And that is it. So I will see you in video number two coming in just a few days.